I guarantee this video is going to become so controversial that I'm gonna lose subscribers and get heat, but I'm always someone who prefers to be honest about his opinion, so the door is right there for you to leave before you get too pissed off and cry me a river. So we finally found out what happened backstage at AEW All In London last year at Wembley Stadium, when CM Punk had a confrontation with Jack Perry. Earlier tonight on Dynamite, AEW released the backstage footage of the incident, which involves CM Punk getting in the face of Jack Perry following the latter making a reference to AEW's disapproval of using real glass. In the footage that had no audio, CM Punk approached Jack Perry and after about 20 seconds of the two yelling at each other, Punk shoved Jack away and put him in a guillotine chokehold. It was broken up by Samoa Joe and other nearby staff, and then Punk turned his attention to Tony Khan yelling that he quits the company because it is a complete joke. The footage ends with Punk walking away on his own willpower. Last week, CM Punk had appeared on the MMA Hour and opened up about what happened with the situation. And honestly, every last thing that he said happened with Jack Perry was exactly what was shown on the footage. I don't know if showing the footage was supposed to be AEW's way of fighting back, but it honestly puts the company in more hot water than it ever could have for Punk. Tony Khan, when announcing CM Punk's termination, claimed that innocent lives were in danger despite the fact that it was merely a tiny scuffle and some yelling. Not to mention, nobody else was targeted for physical attacks. Tony also claimed that this was the first time in his entire life that he had felt like his own life was in danger. And to be honest, that is something he probably should have kept to himself. Because it makes Tony look like a scared little bitch and not the owner of a professional wrestling company. Seriously, what combat sports owner doesn't know how to fucking fight or handle a scuffle? I've seen bar fights from those who are sober that got worse than that. This entire situation actually proves CM Punk's claim that, just like Jack Perry was lacking real glass, AEW itself was lacking real leadership. As Tony Khan had no idea what to do when the situation was taking place, thus forcing Punk to take matters into his own hands. And even when the actual fight took place, Tony was more scared of Punk physically hurting him than he was of Jack potentially ruining AEW's image by throwing unnecessary temper tantrums for not getting his way. Back in 2019, AEW was known as the alternative to WWE that was needed after years of no competition. And this entire situation ends up being AEW's version of the infamous finger poke of doom from WCW. You got a boss who wants to be more of your best friend, hugging you like a child who saw his dad return from war, and who also can't defend himself or his company for shit. While the marks on social media will make fun of AEW for drowning viewerships in 80% empty arenas on the full time, I think the real issue is Tony Khan not being a professional and someone who is absolutely unfit to run a professional wrestling company. Nowhere near under the sense of the douchebag known as Vince McMahon, but Tony is a pro wrestling fan first, your best friend second, and a businessman third. And when you're the owner of any company, that is the wrong thing to do. Obviously, CM Punk could have handled the situation better and not pushed Jack Perry, but it is not even newsworthy that someone got in a scuffle with someone else over a yelling fit. Nor is it a difficult situation to handle. When you have someone like Samoa Joe doing the job that the boss is supposed to be doing, something is definitely wrong here. CM Punk was honestly right. AEW is becoming more and more of a joke week after week, month after month. It's nearly impossible to take Tony Khan seriously as someone who can be a boss for pro wrestling, and it's also impossible to take AEW seriously when you got the Young Bucks as EVPs. Cody Rhodes leaving the company for WWE really was the beginning of the end because Tony took his vision and turned it into a complete joke. AEW, where the best wrestle and where real leadership doesn't exist.